You're listening to Haunted Hour, real ghost stories from real people. Uh, oh, why? Oh, I said, oh, why? Oh, why? <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, to our Chinese New Year special. Yeah, guys. Kong si Fa Choi. Happy holidays, everyone. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm Indra Sahib. And I'm Noel Boyd. Welcome to Haunted Hour. Yeah, it's so awesome to be here in the studio. Yeah, man. I, I don't know whether you guys read the description, but... Um, We don't have a guest today. Mm. You know, um, why is that so noble? No, I think is that, that your fault? No, <laughs> it's never ever my fault, man. No, the problem is yeah, right yeah, because yeah. we got a long weekend. Long, <laughs> long, <laughs> long weekend. Long week- <laughs> <laughs> a long weekend. Yeah, I didn't do my vocal warm ups, by the way. Um, yeah, because of that, then you know, people are just wanting to stay home, or yep, true. or they have plans with the family. Yeah, it's a festive season, bro. You don't disturb them, lah. Yeah, up to eight packs, right? <laughs> <laughs> If you got more than eight packs in your house, yeah, good luck. But nevertheless, you know, yeah, holiday season or not holiday season, ah, uh, mm-hmm. our viewers who are viewing with us right now, they yeah. are very faithful, tuning in every Friday with us, regardless of the holiday mm-hmm. season. Yeah, kudos to you guys. Um, is there? A f- Problem with the feed on Facebook? Why? Oh no! Yeah, so now it's there. Yeah. So we okay. have around yeah we have a uh, quite a number of uh, our our viewers that tuning in right now live. Yeah, man. Thank you, thank yeah. you for thank being you so with us. Thank you so much for for watching. If you are out visiting right and you're mm. watching, or well, that means you're damn awesome. Yeah, man. Or the home that you're in right now, everything's so boring. So you say, you know what, you want to watch us? Let's watch Haunted Hour, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No boy than Indra Sahib. Yeah. We are here to entertain you. <laughs> If you're now not out visiting, mm. right, you're just chilling at home as well, you know, um, it's awesome that you guys are tuning in. Mm. I, I really want to wish um, the foreigners in Singapore, right, um, I go to the uh, Sing Siong supermarket, okay. right, um, very, very often. Mm. And I know there are a lot of Malaysians that are working there and they mm-hmm. can't get home, right? Mm. And I think they've been away from home for about like a year, right? Since yeah, COVID true. started. True. And I, I just want to take time out to to tell them how much I appreciate their, their effort and their, their work here in Singapore. Just strive, yeah. Yeah, mm. and then to be away from from family. You know, we, we went to this bar mm. um, at Bona Vista. It's called Scruffy's, right? Okay. And there was this really awesome waitress there. Okay. Um, And then I think somebody in our group uh, asked her about, oh. about like where she's from and mm. all. And then she said that she's got a daughter. Uh, and Back she's in? from 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 Penang. Penang, okay, right? I see. So she hasn't seen her daughter for about a year. Oh, man. Yeah, and, and, and it's uh, a baby, you know. So, wow, wow that's, that's got to be so tough, you know, whether you're a mother or you're a father, father. and you, know, mm. you can't see your family. So if you guys are tuning in or... If you know of um, one of these Malaysians uh, or folk from China or Indonesia, or whoever, yeah, they can't get home. Mm. Um, just show them extra love. You know that that's all, man. Because, yeah, true. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Like I said, I can't imagine. You know the the, the going worst part. What they do. The worst part is that they have to live their life, uh, especially in, let's let's say for for those who are celebrating Chinese New Year. Yeah, and they know that every year they be back, uh, they be back home, mm-hmm. right? Celebrating with their families. Yeah, right. And for this year, it's a bit different for them. They will be celebrating mm. alone in Singapore. Plus, yeah. they have to work. Exactly. If they if they have to work, right? They have to carry on with working and everything. Yeah. And I think that take take up a, a certain amount of toll mm-hmm. uh, onto their well being. Yeah. So yeah, again, thank you so much for for all those uh, foreign workers who sacrifice their this part of their 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 life for the sake of. Our country, exactly, mm. man. You know, it makes our, our country tick. So mm. I, I, I think that's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Right. So it's just the two of us here in in the studio. Yeah, it's our Chinese New Year special. So we're gonna have Chinese New Year superstitions. Maybe you don't know about them, but we're gonna share them with you a little later on. Mm. And um, we're gonna share our own personal paranormal encounters, right? Yep, Stuff yep. that has scared us. Uh, we're gonna share that. And then, uh, what else we will do? We will do the name real the ghost fake. game. We will do the real or fake. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do the real or fake. We're gonna do terrifying trivia. We're gonna pull this through. Yeah, because we are just 
Having fun. Having fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But next week we won't be on air, right? No, next week. Next week we'll still be. Oh crap! Okay. Okay. And no choice, man. <laughs> I'm gonna drag you right from the west side of Singapore all the way to the east side. Okay. Yeah. I don't care. Every Friday. Every man. Friday, man. I will yeah. knock right in front of your door and will tell your wife, "Bring me Noel here." She'll probably slap you. <laughs> Her being pregnant and hormonal. His, his chain just yeah. gave way. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This is uh, part of the bloopers. Uh, on, yeah. li- on, on live set. <laughs> Uh, come on, come on, come on, bro. That's why I said my wife will slap you. You see that effect? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. My, my sorry. finger, my finger. Wow, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, guys, we got ev- <laughs> available advertising. Uh, so mm. if you want to advertise on this show, uh, we will do everything that we can for your brand. Yep. All yeah. you have to do is contact us. Uh, details are in the description. We also have got the uh, buy a coffee, buy us mm. a coffee, and then we also shout out. Your name live yeah. on air. So if you do it within the next hour, we'll be able to thank you live. Okay, the description nice. is just above uh, the URL, just above Indra. That's yeah, it. it's buymeacoffee.com slash GFS TV. Yeah, maybe for some of you who who are new at uh, I mean uh, viewing and listening to our podcast, this buy me a coffee is a token of appreciation. If you appreciate our content and you think that we deserve a cup of coffee here, yeah, right. So, yeah, don't forget to click the link www.buymeacoffee.com slash GFS TV. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today got a lot of uh, misspelled uh, words. Uh, slash. Yeah. Slash. Yeah, I, I think I think we didn't smoke enough. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> and then we're drinking new a new type of coffee today. Yeah. Uh, And later on, guys, we're gonna have the bias. Uh, the bias. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, man? I don't know. I don't okay. know. We're all over the place. Blah, 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 blah. Brr, okay, reset. Yep. Later on, we're gonna have the Q and A where you can ask us questions. So yes. we will prompt you about that. Okay. So that's coming up later. Mm. And also, um, you can buy my book on Shopee. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to buy, that's fine. You can um, loan my book from. 14 national libraries across Singapore. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm, I'm his co-host, right? Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm your co-host, right? Yes. I myself haven't read your book. <laughs> That's because I've never given you my book, bro. Hey, I ever ask you, I ever request, Nobel, can I have your book? Yeah. Yeah. But I think the audience should know that you can't read. Oh my God. Yeah. You're left-handed. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it stops there. <laughs> But you know why I cannot read, not why? Because I have a uh, issue with uh, viewing uh, uh, small letter words. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna write for you one <laughs> bigger, one big bigger one later. It's bigger just four letters. All right, we're gonna move on to terrifying trivia. Yep, yeah. Uh, also based in Singapore. So last year, last year, last, last week, week, my we did friend, the Matilda House. <laughs> yep. And then today we are doing the Tanglin Hill Brunei Hostel. Here we yeah. go. Here we go. This abandoned hostel is located in the high-end private residential district and is lined with large mansions and posh supercars. Mm. It's situated at the end of Tanglin Hill. And so when you get to the end, you will find a deserted compound mm. that's been abandoned for as long as three decades. Wow. Right. Yeah. So in the early 50s, uh, Brunei, right, they didn't have a proper education system. So what the government did Mm-mm. was that it decided to send its brighter students First from the Malay stream okay. and later from both the Malay and English streams overseas. Mm-mm. So some of the students were sent here to Singapore. Mm-mm. And what it says here is that once the number increased, the Bruneian government purchased a land, uh, a piece of land at Tanglin Hill to build this hostel. Mm. And it was completed in 1958. Now the hostel later became known as the Asrama Kerajaan Brunei di Singapura, mm. AKBS. And the designs of the buildings were perhaps modeled after the colonial style during the British era. So wow. uh, it had a multi-story block. Uh, and what else do we have here? By the 80s, Brunei had its own secondary schools mm-hmm. and the, edis- the education system was up and running. With lesser Bruneian students coming to Singapore for studies, they decided to close the hostel in mm. 1983 and it's been abandoned since. ever since. Mm. Many adventure seekers have claimed to see classroom chairs moving by itself across the room. Wow. Sounds of children laughing. Oh my God. Mm. 
that's a bit spooky. Yeah. And um, so the children will be laughing and playing, and then people have also claimed to see a female entity that floats along a particular corridor. Wow. Yep. Ooh. Um, and also, you know, we have to um to to let all of you know that mm. uh the Singapore Police Force right has got no trespassing signs located around the okay. compound right mm-hmm. so they take a serious view of trespassing mm. and whoever commits criminal trespass shall be punished or imprisoned for a term which may exceed to three months mm. or with a fine which may exceed or may extend sorry mm. to a thousand five hundred dollars or both wow that is serious yeah, I, I had to add this part in yeah true because there are people that watch my my uh, ghost hunts and all right M- might create interest for them to search for this place right yeah yeah and that's happened before where they've gone to like Istana would know and then after ah. that they get caught by the police and then the police I said what are you doing here oh I I saw this botak botak guy yeah. by the name of Noel boy <laughs> yeah. yeah oh he came here and then yeah <laughs> he's my idol mm-hmm. <laughs> idol idol <laughs> yeah so that's uh the old Brunei hostel. Mm. I've always wanted to go there, man. But then when wow. I saw the uh, no trespassing sign, so I said, you know what? It's okay. I don't need to get into trouble. Mm-mm. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you know where this is? No, no idea, man. This is the first time I heard about this. Okay. Mm. I, you can actually see it from, from the road. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like really eerie at night because, you know, uh, abandoned places have that look because it, it's really old. And, yeah. Um, but somebody does maintain, like, I think the mm. grass and all because somebody does go into... To do mm. those maintenance, maintenance, works, yeah. Yeah. maintenance. Oh, okay. But the 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 area where this is is mm. where this is is yeah has has got a lot of um of <laughs> has got a lot of uh rich people staying there. Is that whiskey in, inside your mug or what? No, uh? Uh, <laughs> I I got two mugs here. All I know is that one of them has got coffee. <laughs> okay, let's carry on, man. But okay, for this kind of place, right? Definitely, mm-hmm. after it's been abandoned for such a long time, since 1983, mm-hmm. I mean, definitely that place will, will start to creep with all kind of entities. Yeah, I definitely. Believe, I man. believe, yeah. yeah. I mean, Because uh, these lost souls, they need a home. Yeah, true, know? true. So, where else would it be, right? And mm. I think if I'm a ghost, I would want to stay in that area because it's one of the richer parts of Singapore. Richer? <laughs> yeah, all the rich people yeah, stay there. Yeah, correct, you know? correct. Yeah. So they can do some uh, scary shit, ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to, 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 to those, <laughs> then they can they can extort. Extort. Uh, they, uh, they can extort them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you better give all your wealth. If not, I'm going to scare all of you, man. Exactly. <laughs> no. Then they start like burning more more offerings and all. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to read. Yeah. Uh, a few comments here. Okay. Um, Panji, right? Hmm, Panji. Yeah, you yeah. remember we had him on the show. Yeah, he asked guy, why man. never invite me to join you guys. Oh yeah, hmm. That part you have to ask Noel. Yeah, no, <laughs> we wanted you to spend quality time with your wife, family. And your yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Wow. So we, so we have a, a comment from uh, our viewers here by Kelvin Ong. Yeah. I went to I went to Istana Wood. No, Mm-hmm. Even before it's been def- uh, defaced by ugly graffiti, the double story is still intact and still can go to level two. Wow. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I've been to Istana Wood Nook twice. Wow. Yeah. So, do you know where Istana Wood Nook is? No idea, bro. You don't know anything, huh? Yeah. I'm. <laughs> I'm a lost soul. I'm myself a lost soul, man. Yeah. <laughs> you haunt me every day. <laughs> every day, man. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay, so uh, Isana would not. Okay, uh, for I, I believe this Kelvin on might 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 have been there many 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 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I went as well, there there weren't any tres- no trespassing signs. Oh, also. nice. Yeah. Wow, nice. Mm. It's one of the like the better places I've been to because it's so real mm. where uh, paranormal activity starts even before you reach the the mansion. You know. Oh, that's scary, yeah, man. and then you come around this bend. I I will always remember this. You come around this bend, mm. uh, and then you start seeing a little bit of the house, right? From the far, yeah. From the far, and then mm. you start seeing a little more and a little more, and then you see all the windows, and then wow. you have these thoughts in your head: who's watching me? And yeah, was but it? we all, always had like really good um, experience experiences there. there. Mm. Very very good. It's like in the movies, man. Yeah, yeah. Somebody here wants to know whether I'm right-handed or left-handed. Who, I, I'm who's that? Right-handed. Uh, Christopher. 
Okay, Noel is right-handed. I'm yeah. the left-handed one lah. Yes. So we like compliment each other lah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm left-handed sometimes. It Le- depends what I'm doing. <laughs> How can you be left-handed sometimes? Depends is lah. There, is there such practicality in that in that manner? <laughs> depends on the on the action like what I'm doing. So I'm like holding the phone. <laughs> yeah. All kind of nonsense here. <laughs> Okay. All okay, right. let's go to the real or fake segment. I'm, yeah, man. Yeah. So, are you guys ready? Yeah, so I posted this on mm. YouTube in 2014, okay? It's uh, the CCTV recording mm. from my eldest brother's house in Tampines. Wow. And in this video, you will see an orb fly into view and then disappear into a wall. So, I've had some people, you know, leave comments that agreed, you know, fellow ghost hunters, mm. uh, paranormal investigators. And yeah. then... Mm. I've had people say no, you know, dude, it's just a, a laser pointer. It can be real, lah. Yeah, but we want you to watch this, right? You're watching it now, and you decide for yourself whether is it an orb, like um, a paranormal kind of orb, mm. or do you think it, you know, was from somebody's torchlight or laser pointer? Wow. This was uh, taken about 4:39 in the morning. Wow. So, at which level is this? At the ground floor? No, no, no. My it's my brother's house, like. Uh, so that means outside his outside his house, there's a this this walkway lah. Mm-hmm. So at his level lah. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. He his level. I mean, it's just outside his house. Yeah. But, um, mm. Yeah. So he, for some reason that they mm. they decided to go through the CCTV, mm. what the the recordings. Okay. And, and then they, they found they, this. Yeah, they found this. So then he's like, hey, wow, bro, you want to take a look at this? And I did. But definitely, he, you would be the first person that they will contact, man. Yeah, but I I feel that mm-hmm. it's a legit orb. That that's my that's my take on mm-hmm. it. It's not like a torchlight, because who's gonna stand like at the next block, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. We have a torchlight or laser pointer at four four thirty nine, and True. if we, if you were to shine it across, right? Mm-hmm. How does it go? How does it turn and 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 enter swift the wall? Through, swift through, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My take on this, because it's coming from your brother, mm-hmm. right? I think it's real lah. Because mm. definitely, uh, when your brother start to call you to take a look at this video, right? I don't think so. He's trying to prank you. Yeah. Or he's trying to like create something, an illusion or yeah. what. Yeah, be- because my brother's not like that. My yeah, no. eldest brother's very serious. Yeah. So I I don't think so. He's sick mm. for any attention here. Yeah. Mm. And, and 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 the thing is, um, my my brother, right? Yeah. He he and I we we've never spoken about ghosts before. Even though you yeah. you are so into this this yeah. uh, paranormal stuff, yeah, he, he mm. knows what I do. Yeah, yeah. But my sister, my sister in law, and, and my brother, yeah, we have never, never, ever had a conversation about ghosts. Never. Mm. Mm. Um, what do you guys think, man? Those of yeah, you man. that have watched uh, the video, do you think it's real or do you think it's fake? Let yeah. us know in the comments. Please let us know. Let us know. Let us know. Okay, we have a. Uh, A comment by Ahish Pandi here. Mm-hmm. Let's tell Hisham. Oh, okay, this one. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I think I think. I mean, they 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 talking among each other. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, Kelvin Ong. Okay, Kelvin Ong again. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I can contribute my Istana Wood Nook picture though. So that means he's trying. Uh, he's trying to share. Sure, man. His experience there. Yeah, sure. Oh, that means. If his picture during that years, it's going to be an old pic. Mm. Yeah, yeah, old pictures, ah, correct, no? Yeah, yeah. Mm. You can share. I would love to look at it, man. Yeah, man. I you, love looking. You at can DM us. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, you can DM us. Yeah, yeah. or you can insert your photo in the comment. Mm, nice. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so yes, guys, real or fake? Let us know. Let us know. Gabe, we have from Ramona Sidi. Yeah. Hmm. Hi Ramona. Okay, the op went too swiftly. Looks like a flashlight. Ah, okay, okay, I think I think Ramona uh, have some doubt here. Okay, whether this is real. No worries. Yeah, so I think yeah, it can it can be a flashlight. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Yeah, maybe someone from the far uh, shine through uh, the the light. Yeah. Uh, to towards your brother's uh, door or what? Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I I would want to meet this person though. That has got time at four o'clock in the morning to shine that torch like <laughs> into somebody else's block. Yeah, but who would do that? Then who who would actually stand there at four a.m. in the morning to do this? Yeah, it's something that I think is not relevant. Also, 
Yeah, but you know, there are a lot of mad people around. Okay, we have uh, from Chris Ho. Uh, real, hey, Chris. real or fake? Real, cause no, no shadow. Mm. Okay. Okay. Why? Why is that so? What? Why? Why is what so? Why? Why does Chris Ho mention that no shadow? Then she affirm it as to be real. Mm. Um. Yeah, because is most of these relation? things don't have a shadow. What? Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. Uh, nice, nice. Okay, Asmi Sunari has bought us a coffee. Hey, thank you. And Lina C bought us two coffees. Thank you, Lina yeah. C thank for you, the Lina. coffees. Nice, nice. Okay, can we on uh, comment here? Uh, replying to our question, comment. Uh, too many pictures. That means he have a lot of pictures to to insert in the comment ah, section. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Um, okay, we have uh, from Christopher. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Redfield. Yeah. Could be real. The light is too blue. Okay. Okay. Why blue? Mm, okay. When you talk about orbs, mm. right? They mm. they come in different colors. Okay. So the those that are clear are the ones I'm not very interested in. Okay. Uh, because that could just be dust. Ah. Right. So I'm talking about a from from my standpoint as a okay. paranormal mm. investigator. But when they come up in different colors, then okay. I get very interested. Mm. So when it's blue, right? It's supposed to be of an uh, uh, it's supposed to be an angel or uh, a guardian. It's like a positive kind of yeah. So when when I mm. when I used to do stuff at cemeteries, whether it's Bukit Brown or Lim Chu Kang, right? Yeah. Um, I tend to get a lot of blue orbs. Mm. Yeah. Then there are some places where I get red orbs. So red orbs are supposed to be um, of a demonic form. So it's a oh, demonic entity. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and how we tie this, right? So if I look back, because I don't see the, the pictures when when I'm on an investigation, it's always later. Mm. But then when bad things happen, when mm. we are at that location, and then when I look at the photos later on and I see red orbs, then I can tie it down like, okay. So I think it's a demonic entity. Mm. Yeah. True. Yeah, so mm. the, there's obviously in different colors, but yeah, the blue ones always excite me because it's supposed to be an angel, it's supposed to be a guardian, you know, of the place and, Probably and ca- coming to overlook you. La. Yeah, they're, they're mm. supposed to be good, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the red and the orange ones, yeah, those those are a bit freaky. So it's it, it's a it's a positive thing, la. it it, it pass by, passes by your your brother's house. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Mm. I guess so. Yeah, you know, now Now when when I think of it, you know, like uh, you know, it's blue. Yeah, okay. then it's supposed to be. Should we be scared of it? Um, no, no. I, I I don't think I, I don't think you're supposed to be scared of of ghosts in the first place. No, I mean, like yeah, you know, for some people they might have some uh, skepticism, right? Mm-hmm. Then they might think, wow, this one ah, uh, oh, this some bad luck ah. Uh. Mm. Then it happened outside my house. Confirm bad luck ah. Uh. No. Yeah. So with this kind of explanation, you said that the blue uh, op. Represent uh, uh, angelic uh, entities. Yeah. So it might it might ease their worries, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, de- definitely. So definitely, I think it it helps in certain ways by understanding what are the things that you are witnessing or you experience. Mm. Yeah. Rather than you just jump into conclusion, oh, this is a, this this is a negative uh, entity that is visit my house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, then so we talk about mm. that, right? Yeah. Like the blue orbs and and whatever. But okay. Uh, because today we're going to talk about superstitions as well during Chinese New Year. Yeah. So l- let's let me talk about this one where, um, you know, if a giant moth, you know, those big ones, the big mm. moths, when they fly into your house, for us Eurasians, yeah. when when it happens, okay, we say we no, we say we think that uh, somebody's going to pass on. Oh. Yeah. So okay. um, with my my family, mm. that is pretty accurate. Whenever like a big moth flies in, that okay. Somebody's gonna gonna pass on. Mm. So even with my dad, you know, yeah. he had a small fly into the house. And then, shortly after, yeah, he passed on. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do you guys the the like a Malay? Do you um, all have this belief as well? In terms of uh, religious tradition, no. But I think in our Malay culture, mm. Malay culture, I heard it. I heard this from somewhere, uh, and I can't affirm this whether this is uh, can be backed by. Uh, a true, uh, a true happening or what? Mm-hmm. But I heard this from uh, my uncles, right? Okay. Uh, they say that uh, when we see yellow blood, yellow butterfly, mm-hmm. right? It will symbolize the same like how you uh, witness a big, what again? Just moth. Uh, moth, big moth. Yeah, it's, mm. it's the same. That means someone will pass away. Huh? 
So yellow, yellow butterfly. butterfly. I'm not so sure. So hmm. but this is something that um, that some of our elderly, yeah, they have uttered this before, hmm. uttered this statement before. Yeah. So it might it may be right and it may not be true also. But hmm. you know, you know, thanks for sharing, man. Yeah. So because uh, uh, I think the older generations they they are quite superstitious in certain ways. Hmm. Uh, furthermore, they live in kampongs. Yeah. Right. Kampung people, they, they 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 go around with all these kind of beliefs, especially during the good old days. Yeah, these are the kind of information that they fall back to, lah. Yeah, and mm. you know, I think all the superstitions that we have now mm. started from the kampung days. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, okay, like back in the in the old, good old days, right? Our grandmothers would say that do not go out after seven. Do not play during seven to eight, mm-hmm. and uh, seven to eight, seven to eight. Re- reason, reason being it right later the 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 momo will come and catch you. So the momo is not around after eight pm. I don't know. So so uh, to 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 cut the story to cut the moral story short, right? Yeah. The moral story is is not to go out at night, stay right. home, okay. be a good boy, be a good son, and so on lah. So. So they use that kind of fear, but it it became a superstitious, a superstitious belief. Right. As years goes by, right, people mm-hmm. start to believe in it. Yeah. Uh, it start it start it start as a form of uh, a a kind of a uh, a uh, uh, prank. Uh huh. Right. To scare or to input fear in children. Correct. Not to go out at night, stay home. Right. You'll be safe at home. But years down the line, it become a real superstitious belief. Yeah, <laughs> that they hold on, hold hold on to. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I I don't blame them though. Yeah, yeah. Man, if 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 we have uh, our viewers listening and uh, uh, tuning in right now, man, please share your superstitious uh, uh, belief also. Yeah, or stuff What, that you've heard. Yeah, yeah, things that you heard, right? Or things that we dis- disclose here. Maybe we might say it wrong. You 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 think uh, there's there's other theories that can be backed by by that. Please feel free to uh, comment on the comment section below. Yeah, uh, I I I want to read this, but then because I done a split screen, so I can't see anything. Uh, is it a comment? No, no, no. It's um, <clears throat> we got people buying us a coffee, so we got oh, one nice. here from uh, Keki Burke. Wow. He's bought us two coffees. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah. And then we have got another person here. He's a new member. Mm. Said, "Gents, I've been trolling your content since the Spotify show first started, and wow. I figure it's time to support your efforts. Cheers." Nice. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Nick T. Yeah. Wow, that's really awesome. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> all your kind support. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Thank It you. Mean really, a lot to us. Y- you know, guys. Today it's actually the uh, the tenth episode we've done since our live started. So mm. we've done this ten times. Yeah, man. Yeah. Nice. How awesome is that? How beautiful is that journey? How beautiful. Yeah, how beautiful is that journey? Yeah, and I'm no still well. still sane. I don't understand. <laughs> and you are still distracted most of the time. <laughs> distracted with with my good looks. <laughs> hey, you guys watching? You never said anything about my Chinese New Year outfit. Yeah, man. man. Hey, you I see, put in the effort, yo. To, tonight, uh, uh, Noel Boyd put up a very nice outfit. Yeah, in red. Noel in red. Yeah, in red. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna explain to you why. All right, I'm gonna explain to you why. Mm. Uh, we're gonna do superstitions, right? Yeah. Okay. So I've gathered a few mm. that I found online. Okay. It's for Chinese New Year, right? The first thing you need to do because today is the first day of Chinese New Year, mm. right? It's kind of late now because we're almost done with the first day. Mm. Is that you must avoid taking medicine. It is mm. taboo for a person to brew herbal medicine or take medicine on the first day of the lunar year. Ah, because if you take right, then it is believed that he or she will get ill for an entire year. Wow! Do you take any medication today? Today, yeah. Today, no, bro. Okay, is a it, it explains. Is a is a cigarette uh, counted as a medication? You should stop smoking. Man. <laughs> It's a disgusting habit. Oh man, you should advise this to yourself more. <laughs> So much of being an angel. <laughs> I am an angel. Angel in red. I might come for revenge. Okay. <laughs> the other superstition. Yeah. Don't sweep or take out garbage. The act mm. of sweeping on this day okay. is associated with sweeping your wealth away. 
And if you take uh, out garbage, it symbolizes dumping out the good luck or good fortune from the house. Okay, mm. okay. No wonder they do it before. Yeah, on the yeah, eve. On the eve or maybe before, uh, right, weeks before. Lah. So yeah. at least they prepare. So at least on the first day itself, they are there to uh, embrace the day. Yeah, mm. exactly. Mm-mm. Like the other day, you know, I, I took the lift up. I'm staying mm. on the 17th floor. Okay. Lift door opens, right? I see all this stuff by the 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 chute, you know, mm. the the where where we dump our rubbish. Yeah, true. So there was this exercise machine. There's so much stuff. I thought my neighbor is moving out. <laughs> and then after that, I found out that they're just doing their spring cleaning oh. for Chinese New Year. Yeah. Is it a must for them every year that they have to throw away items? Yeah, I think stuff you don't use. I, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good practice. Yeah. But is it necessary to to do it every year? Yeah. Why well, not? So that means every year, every year they, I mean, not they, I mean, we all, I mean, most people, they, 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 they replenish new items, is it? I think so. Wow. Yeah, okay. I, okay. Ask you for okay. Hari Raya, do you throw out stuff? Do you spring clean? And... Yeah. I, I, I throw, I, I throw away things that is unused. Uh, like, uh, how say, uh, like last time when we keep newspaper, right? Uh, like that, that kind, that kind of things. Uh, boxes, empty boxes. But I don't throw away my sofa every year, man. Do, do, do you? No, do you? I, I, I don't think my neighbors do that as oh, well. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious. That's why I'm, I'm asking this. Do I mean is there anyone who actually throw sofas? Yeah, I, I throw think if you're like every year, you're filthy rich, like you won't throw your fridge. <laughs> Come on, man. And you know what? Yeah. Hari Raya, right? Yeah. You should throw away your brain because hey. you don't use it enough, bro. If I throw away my brain, right, there will not be any haunted hour anymore, man. Really? Yeah. What you see here is. Coming from he from my my brain. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, another superstition. Yeah. Don't eat porridge and meat for breakfast. Ah. Uh, and it says here porridge should not be eaten because it is considered that only poor people have mm. porridge for breakfast, ah. and people don't want to start the year poor. Mm. And meat should not be eaten at this breakfast out of respect for the Buddhist gods. Who are believed to be against killing of animals. Okay. Yeah. Um, another one here is don't wash clothes and hair. I don't have that, that problem. I got no hair. <laughs> People do That's not sad, wash clothes on the first and second day because these two days are celebrated as the birthday of the water god. Ah. Mm. Yep. So on the day, on the morning of Chinese New Year, they bathe but without washing their hair? Yeah. Is, it, is, that, is that what you're trying to picture here? Yeah, exactly. Because they say don't wash clothes and hair. Wash clothes and hair. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, another mm. one here is needlework should not be done. Oh. The use of knives and scissors is to be avoided for any accident, mm. whether harming a person or tool. It is taught to lead to uh, inauspicious things and you will get rid of your wealth in the coming year. Mm. Well, today I use two knives and and a pair of scissors <laughs> because I had an order to fulfill somebody yeah, ordered chili crab. Damn it! So, you lose that part lah bro. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> and it says, yeah. sorry, I'm going to try to speed this along. Uh, keep children from crying. The ah. cry of a child is believed to bring bad luck to the family so parents must do their best to keep children from crying by mm. whatever means possible. I think my daughter Mali didn't cry today. My daughter Mali is awesome, man. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I I I think there's some wisdom behind this. Mm-hmm. I think I think okay. this, this kind of superstition. I think there's some wisdom behind this. Yeah. Uh, is that on the on the spe- very special festive day, mm-hmm. right? It's good to be happy. Yes. So especially children. So okay. when when they mention that, do not do not try or do not uh, make a child unhappy or cry mm-hmm. so you have to do the opposite you see yeah you have to make you have to make effort to make them happy yeah on but that very festive season yeah but you should do that every day though yeah i mean yeah i mean this is a, is a reminder mm-hmm. because some people throughout the whole year they might forget about their own uh loved ones yeah and then coming to the festive season nearing to the festive season it's it suddenly strike their emotion to be close to them mm. you get what i mean so and knowing to knowing the fact If they if they do believe this kind of superstitious mm. uh, superstitious belief, right, they definitely will work hard to actually make them happy on that first day. 
Yeah. Especially uh, children lah. Right? Not yeah. to make them cry, not to make them sad. Yeah. So I think that is a kind of another anger that you can look into it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but you know, like I said, I wish people would think about that every day instead true. of just like the one particular day. Yeah, true. Hmm. Uh, next superstition is <laughs> avoid being stolen. What? Do not let other people take objects, including money, from your pocket during the Spring Festival. I see. And take care not to have your pocket picked, <laughs> as this is believed to uh, affect your whole wealth in the coming year being stolen. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Fair enough. Hmm. Uh, another one here is no killing. Oh. Killing should be avoided from the first to the fifteenth of the Lunar New Year. As blood mm. is considered an ill omen, Mm-mm. which causes misfortunes uh, or a bloody disaster. Mm. Uh, wow! I I just got two more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This one applies to you. Do not wear <laughs> white or black. White or black. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Because these two colors are associated with funerals. I yeah, see. Either you wearing black today? That's why I'm wearing red, bro. <laughs> I got some red here. Hello. <laughs> Just a little bit. Hello. I have no choice because uh, this is our uh, haunted our uniform, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Which I have, which I don't wear. I'm sorry. Am I? You're the boss. Oh yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> that is that is damn true, bro. Yeah, damn man. true. Okay. The last superstition I have here, number 16 Actually, it's not even number 16 because I I only read a few. Reading, you're just reading through it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Don't give certain gifts. Uh, so this gifts includes clocks. Scissors and pears, you know the fruit pears. Yeah, pears, yeah. yeah. Mm. As they have a bad meaning in Chinese culture, yeah, because pears mm. they usually put them at the uh, at the altar or oh. a- a- any food offerings. Yeah, I see. So yep. it's not a appropriate gift, uh, Yeah, on the on the first day of Chinese New Year. Yeah, it's definitely not. Mm. Um. Okay, so that's it for superstitions. Wow. Um. We would like to thank. Uh, Melanie mm. uh, Melanie brought us, brought us three coffees she says Kong Chi Fa Chai Noel and Indra hey, love what you do happy holiday PS yes, looking Melanie. good there who? me la, of course yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so vain uh, I, gotta be vain to be in this industry okay okay we have a we, we have a mm. comment from our viewers live viewers here mm-hmm. uh, Ramona Sidik uh, mentioned here No sweeping, no sweeping in, no sweeping the house on Chinese New Year. Sweeping your luck and fortune away. Wonder if it if it is true. Just now we mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, we mentioned on this. Uh, we mentioned on this, right? Did I? Yeah, yeah. No, no cleaning away. Yeah. Yeah, no cleaning away during the first. Yeah. And so, throwing away stuff on the first day of Chinese New Year. Yeah, but can we vacuum? Vacuum. That means sucking away your good luck, you know. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, we have uh, what do we have? Christopher Christopher Redfield. Yeah. Okay. Very Does the, the baby cry count? Ma- relating back to do not make a child cry on the first day uh-huh. on uh, on the first day of uh, Chinese New Year. So he's asking, does a baby cry count? Count to what? Count 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 it to be a thing that we make them unhappy. Yeah, because one of the superstitions is cry, right? Yeah, like your a child shouldn't cry or shouldn't yeah. cry. But a baby, it's, it's very hard to avoid them for them to cry. What? That is true. If 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 they are hungry for a baby, like especially infant, if they are hungry, they can't communicate, right? The only way they communicate is by crying. Yeah. Then then you need. The producer of our show, Indra, right? You know, Indra, Ali. <laughs> Ali yeah, no. Sorry, Ali. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, we need Ali because Ali is amazing with babies. Ah. Right. He used to come over to to put Mali to sleep. Wow. Right? And then he just rocks and rocks. He's got this technique. Uh. Well, he got a magic hand. Uh. Yeah. Wow. I would love to use his hand one day. For? <laughs> <laughs> What a way to put it. Uh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, Ali. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to be very explicit here, but yeah lah. Love to see your hand one day. <laughs> okay, okay, please. If I, if I could reach over, I'll slap you. Right? <laughs> okay, Chris Ho mentioned here. Orange are also used on the Ultima. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm. But I think orange is more to prosperity, right? Okay, 
I'm, I'm trying to understand here. On the first day of uh, Chinese New Year, right? Yeah. They will go around and, uh, and offer orange to the elders, right? To the to the elderly. Yeah, I think right? so. It's a form of respect. Yeah. Right. And uh, I think orange symbolize. Are you okay, bro? Yeah. <laughs> are you crying because uh, people are uh, saying that you are good looking? <laughs> no lah. <laughs> okay. I, I just know they are speaking the truth. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, orange I think represent a positive vibe here, right? Bring Chinese New Year. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I mean, mm. you always give them it, in pairs. Mm. I I don't know enough about this though. So if our viewers who are tuning in right now, please mm-hmm. please right enlighten us on that. So we we we, we want to know. Yeah. We want to know. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about our paranormal experiences, right? Mm, this yeah. is what the show is about. Um, you you know that of mine because I, I'm always telling you my yeah, my man. stories and my experiences. Mm. What about you? What have you experienced? Are, are we allowed to tell people what you do, like what I do? Yeah, my occupation, my o- occupation. Yeah, the, the 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 other one, the other one. Yeah, what do the the one uh, where you do like these online classes and all? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can tell. Okay, because yeah. I I don't know. That's yeah, why we, yeah. we 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 don't like plug it Disclose on social it, uh, media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you want to tell or do you want me to tell? Okay, uh, basically, I'm uh I'm conducting uh online classes lah. Yeah. For those who want to learn uh, Arabic language, actually. Yeah, he's actually a, an ustad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you know the the whole premise of of an ustad, right? Mm. Like what I've the people I've met all these years, right? Mm. Doing about thirteen years doing this, so I met yeah. so many from all over Southeast Asia. You're the coolest one, <laughs> no? Because you no, know, you're you're you're, yeah. you're real. You're so down to earth. Okay. Uh, like the rest of them, you know, I I've always asked questions in my head. Of course, mm. I don't ask them. But I questions I will ask is, like, is this guy really legit? You know, or is he like putting on an act? Mm. Um, <laughs> or you know, but then I've known you for so 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 many years, yeah. even before you you became a religious teacher. Mm. And then you know, now that you're doing this, I I think it's awesome because mm. you know you're obviously in a very good place. Mm. Yeah. So I just wanted you, the viewer, to know, uh, like what this gentleman does. I you know he's he's just such a great person. <laughs> No, man. I, I, I just love the part of uh, sharing knowledge, lah. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially because uh, I take pride in language, language. Mm-hmm. So when I, when I strive and uh, put put in my effort in learning the language, right? So yeah. when I attain it, so it's about time to give back, lah. Yeah. So I previously, yeah, I conduct class. Physically, and then now due to COVID, then I shift my class online, lah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> tell us about your paranormal encounters. Okay. Uh, I have this one very strange plus. Uh, it 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 affect me in a way where this experience of mine. Uh, it happened to to my closest friend, right? Uh, this he's my best friend, uh, by the way. So his mom uh, got possessed. Hmm. Yeah. So, the first person, because my we we are friends, and he knows that I'm a I'm a religious teacher, right? Yeah. So the first person he contact was me. Mm-hmm. When 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 the first thing when the first thing that he saw, his mom start to uh, cry, and start to shout in a voice where it's very rough, mm-hmm. a rough voice. By the way, his mom, his mother, is a very soft spoken lady. Right, with a very gentle voice. Okay, very gentle voice, and it it scares you when you start to hear her mm-hmm. with a rough voice. Yeah, and very I would I would say a very growling and rough kind of voice. Okay, there. and and you heard this yourself? Yeah. So when when he called me, right, say hey, Indra, I need your help, ah, uh. I need you to come down now. Mm. It's okay, bro. I come down now. So I, I I go over to his place. I go over to his place and I then I take a look. I, I assess the situation. I entered I enter the mom's room. Then I saw left and right uh, his siblings, right his his younger siblings holding his mom. And and what was the mom doing? Was she lying on the bed or no sitting 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 up and like trying to force her way out of the bed. Okay. And they are trying to ref, restrain her. And make make her lie down or stay in the bed, stay in the room. Actually, yeah, we don't want her to go out. 
but she keep on shouting she keep on like growling with a very rough voice then when she sees me right she shout even louder mm i don't know what's that signs all about but i i roughly know that because when when before i enter right before i enter the room i do some recitation lah as a form of protection for myself right okay uh, because we don't know again we don't know how strong this kind of entity mm-hmm. right it might backfire you if you yeah. want to attend but i'm i'm just want to have a disclaimer here i'm not a ustaz that treat people lah i'm just here for this experience here uh, this ha- uh, happening i'm just there to actually assist my my my, my best friend okay so when i enter the room right she shout even louder so i tried right, i tried but uh, i can't, i can i can't manage to actually uh, cleanse her away mm-hmm. right so in cleanse the end, as you mean to remove the, to remove the, the, the demonic the... entity from her body lah right okay? okay so i make a phone call i know this one uh, old guy this old guy uh, who is very pious among our community our community and uh, they call him by the name of habib habib uh, okay. not not habib no magomedov ah <laughs> this this they call him by the name of habib habib uh, is a term where we call an old guy in our community okay. who is very pious yeah and they have this ability to to for this kind of thing lah okay, okay? so i i make a phone call and i say okay uh, i will come down tomorrow night Mm. Because that, that time is really late in the morning, really, bro. Oh wow! So he's old, so need someone to come and fetch him. Right. Yeah, so tomorrow night. So and imagine this: the whole day, next day, his mum going through the same motion again, shouting yeah. and growling throughout the whole day. Wow! And my friend <laughs> is so dead worried, man. Yeah, of course. I I don't know how a person would deal with that though like you know to he can't sleep yeah you know your your can't loved eat, one yeah. is possessed and mm. then you go like okay i cannot help now yeah help is not going to come today it's going to come like the following day so you yeah. have the following night yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh cut the story short um yeah. in the end this habib come right this old guy come with a, with with his walking stick mm-hmm. very frail yeah right he he entered the house everyone greeted him in fact uh, me and my friend we went all the way to his house actually to pick him up mm-hmm. so while while we are on the way to to my best friend's house yeah we actually gave him a overview uh, of what the situation is all about yeah. and he even asked okay what is your friend's mother's name full name give me give me her full name okay so in in i mean along the way in the very car right he closed his eyes and he do his recitation there he start i mean he start to he start to assess the situation really yeah once once he get the full name full details and then he close his eyes and then he say oh this is this is something serious okay did he have anything with him uh only on, only uh how to say he bring along a bottle of water that's it that's it a bottle of water what what i still remember and he bring along a spray okay okay i will explain it to uh, uh that spray is been used for What, okay. right? The application of that spray. Okay, it's a spray bottle actually. Inside, it's just normal water. Mm. So he 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 closed his eyes uh, while we are on the way. Then he he said, "Okay, this is something serious. Uh, your your best friend's mom, right? Uh, someone who have ill feeling have sent her some bad, uh, black magic stuff." Damn. Yeah. Okay. okay. So he 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 have he he have that feeling really. So when we reach my friend's house, okay, everyone greeted him. Every of my f- my best friend's siblings, mm-hmm. right? Because my my best friend have four siblings, so every of his siblings, right, greeted him except for his eldest brother. The eldest brother. His eldest brother. Okay. Okay. His eldest brother initially do not want to. Shake hand with him or greet him. Hmm. That's It's strange. very strange. Even I myself find it very strange. See what what's wrong with this dude, man? Yeah. Right. And in the end, this uh, this Habib, this old guy, went to him. You know, I think he know he know something. Hmm. So he went to this to uh, to my friend's uh, eldest brother, and uh, offer a, a handshake. You know what he do? 
Mm-hmm. This uh, the the eldest brother. What? He shake his hand, but by looking away. Ah, so so there's so no he, eye contact. Yeah, there's no eye contact. Mm. He extend his hand, uh, his hand, but at the same time he look away. I see. So he don't want to make any eye contact with this Habib. Okay. Okay. So that's signal number one. That's sign number one. So after that, this Habib straight away enter the room, the mother's room. That's that's where things get very interesting. When he enter the room, the mother was lying down. Uh huh. Okay. And at that time, can see the before before we enter, right? The mother was lying down, tired. Like you know, after a long day of growling and shouting. Yeah. You can you can sense her her physical body is is drained drained out really. Yeah. But when this Habib come in, right? Suddenly you see her sit sit upright in uh, like, like in uh, go go up to the sit sit upright position. And how old is this lady again? Around 50 plus, coming 60. Right. Okay. So she she she, she straight away uh, sit upright. Right. And, and she turn her head to the left. I mean, uh, facing facing this Habib, and start to shout the hell out of her <laughs> at her, at her top of her voice, man. Ah. Uh. Okay, and this Habib is very cool, very calm. He take a chair, he put it right in front of his mother's bed, the mother's bed, mm-hmm. and sit right in front of her. Okay, face like like, like a face off, no, mm. like, like as if like I take a chair, like like a bully come to a to a student, right, mm-hmm. and put a chair in front of the of the of the student and right, right, yeah, so like face off, face, yeah, yeah, it's like a face off. Okay. And right there and that, the Habib start to recite and do some, uh, do do his, his his rituals. And that's where things get more scarier. The mother itself, right, start to utter this statement where where I feel a chills. I I'm I'm inside the room, man. Mm-hmm. Me, my best friend, and another best friend, alongside with his siblings, and his eldest brother is outside. He don't, he don't even dare to come in. Okay. Okay, so we 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 are inside. Then the statement that come out from from his mother while the the old man was doing his recitation or doing his rituals, right? You know what he you know what she said. But in Malay, aku nak bunuh kau, which means I want to kill you. I want to kill you. Ah, what? Why? And then like she's trying to reach out to this old man. Then this old man like keep on reciting and back himself, right? Mm. Back himself, then trying to stay a distance, ah. But he's he's still there on his chair, reciting, mm, okay. doing his ritual. Until to the point where he take the water. That's where the bottle of water come come to practical here. Okay. So he take the water after his recitation, he spit into the water, right? And then after that, he take the water. He uh, sprinkle to 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 my friend's mom's face. Right. Sprinkle, right, and then many times, multiple times, until to a point you can see she retaliate. She grew. She grew even aggressive, more mm. aggressive, right. So after a, a, a few sprinkles, then she became weak. I see. Right. She became very weak, and she start to like mellow down. Her voice also start to lower down. And that's where she 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 become so weak until they they have to put her lying lying down back to the to the bed. Uh-huh. Okay, but before that, I still remember the Habib asked the the siblings right to actually give give some of the water, put put a uh, droplets of the water into her, her her mouth, right? Let her have a taste of it. Okay. Okay. So when she lie down, she start to close her eyes, and for the next five minutes, the room is totally silent. Hmm. The, the temperature drop in the room, like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It Correct. did. Yeah. Okay. So when like okay, when we talk about temperature, like when we enter the room, like it's very heated. It, okay, it's warm. Can, it's warm. Yeah, you can feel it's warm. Yeah. So right after that, the next five minutes is you can feel like there's 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 air in the room. Hmm. Then after that. When when the mother start to open her eyes, her mother come back to her normal senses lah. 
Mm. Thank God, man. Her mother come back to her normal senses. Yeah. But she 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 was very weak, very weak. Then um, she she turned to she turned to us who are at the left side of the bed, including the old guy, right? Then she, the first the first person she saw is me. Mm. Eh, hey, Indra is here. Right, she don't. She 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 never realized that all the while that like, we are there in the room. Yeah, and then she the the first person that she saw is me. Oh, Indra is here. Then who's this old guy? <laughs> she she cannot recall. Yeah. Right. Then that's where this old guy, this Habib, start to ask her a few question. Okay, what what do you feel? Right. Yeah. What what actually makes you feel like you are like that like you are in a daze? Yeah, she said that I don't know. I suddenly, f- I, I I suddenly see a black vision. Mm. I cannot see anything, like black vision. I cannot see uh, clear, right? Yeah. That's one. Second, she feel her body is so warm, mm. like having a high fever, like that. Yeah. Okay. Those are the signs. Yeah. So then after that, after 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 that has been relief from her. She she feel very relaxed and she talk like the way she normally talks, mm-hmm. soft, gentle, and very soft spoken lady. Yeah, and that really amazed me, man. Mm. Like wow, and that's my first time life experience uh, witnessing a person who treat a possessed uh, lady lah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm very curious about mm. the eldest brother. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Is there is there a conclusion to that as There's, well? There there is a continuation to that. Ah. There's a continuation to that. Okay. So when when we when after we finish the rituals, right? After we finish the rituals, the the Habib take the water that he he did some recitation, and he pour into the sprinkler, uh, the the spray, mm. the spray bottle. Right. So he go around the house and spray at every corner of the house. Okay. Okay. He said that this house is dirty. Mm. This house is dirty, and this house is been infested by this this kind this kind of uh, demonic ent- entities. Yeah. So he go around and spray. He do and then he do his stuff lah, with a walking stick, ah, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we want we 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 want to assist him. He said, "Never mind, never mind. Let me do." Okay. Right. So he go around with walking stick. Then uh, after we finish everything, right. We we go out for a smoke, right? We go out for a smoke, then that's where uh, me and my friend we notice that. Hey, do you see his my best friend's eldest brother? Or not very very weird, right? He he like react weirdly towards this Habib. Yeah, right. You should be happy what someone coming to help your mother. Exactly. But why you portray like in uh, 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 a response where is. It's kind of rude mm-hmm. to sh- to shake a person's hand by looking away. Yeah, right. With, without any eye contact, so so we we have this conversation. So in the end, after after ev- every ritual has been done, so we decide to bring this Habib back home, right? So he say his goodbye, the same way, right? He he everyone greet him while when when he when he come the same way. Everyone uh, say their goodbyes to this uh, old 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 guy. Except for this eldest brother, yeah, he resists again. His resistance, but this time around, it's very weird, bro. The statement that come out from this this eldest brother. So this Habib, right, come to him again, because he knows he knows mm. that there's something in him, right, right. There's some there's something that is resisting him. So he approach this this Habib approach. This his eldest brother, shake offer to shake hand, right? But this time around, the the brother is is doing a face to face eye contact with this Habib. So when upon they shake hand, right? You know what the brother told this Habib? What? You take care. Hmm. You take care. You know what this Habib told uh, his eldest brother? Or not. You too take care, bro. Okay. <laughs> it okay. It's 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 so surreal, mm-hmm. right? When we witnessing that, so like very 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 weird. He don't know this Habib, and this Habib don't know him. Yeah. 
this is their first time meeting up, right? And he he made that kind of comment. Yeah, he's yeah. A, he's the first. He's the one who made that comment first. You take care. Mm-hmm. It's as if like you are not thankful. Yeah, that, because he should be thankful. Yeah, he should be thankful, that, right? That this old man treat his mother. Yeah, and, and and got rid of the entity yeah. and all, and blessed the house, right? So he said this comment that that really make us think. Yeah. So when we when we send him this old guy back to his house, right? Because we drove. We we drive right. Yeah. So we send man on the way back. It just we we are we can't wait to ask this question, lah, bro. Yeah. Me like, and my other with, me with and my brother. other friend, right? My my other friend is the one who's who, who is the driver. We can't wait to ask this question to him, lah. And then we ask, lah. And you know what he said? His brother, eldest brother, is also having a demonic entity inside him. Okay, so why didn't he he help the brother? Because. Okay, this old man is very wise, lah, very wise, because uh, not everyone, not everyone who have the this kind of en- entities in their bodies, right, mm-hmm. would require help. Some live with this kind of demonic entities with them. It's like their is that their alter ego, you see. Okay. Hmm. So, what you just leave it in them? No. He he. Man, he, the eldest brother, do yeah. not seek for any kind of treatment. Yeah, but then, okay, so your friend's mom didn't seek treatment as well, right? Yeah, but he's being she she's being possessed. Yeah, so isn't the brother possessed the as bo- well? The brother is not being possessed. Then there's no signs of him retaliating, but only when come into contact with a positive uh, figure like like this Habib, he have a resistance. Hmm. Okay. You get I, what I mean? Yeah. If you leave him alone. He, you will, you will think him like a normal guy. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So I think his demonic entities inside his body is not that serious, but it can lead to something serious too. Yeah. 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 You get what I mean? Yeah, because you know I've I've seen some people. Uh, I used to hang out at this uh Thai mediums uh uh office. You know, hmm. uh, it was at Golden Mile. So I used to to hang out there just just so I can watch him work. Like it wasn't. Like, you want to learn, lah. Yeah, I just want to want to observe, understand. Yeah. I want to see mm. people that come in that claim to be possessed. I just want to observe mm. their their reactions, you know, uh, their their body language, mm. the words they use, you know. So there will be people that that come in that claim to be possessed, and then you know, you look at them, you think that okay, they might be, mm. but um, they they would struggle, and then they'll be like rolling on the ground and all when he, when mm. he's doing his uh his rituals. rituals yeah, yeah. So. Um, there are a lot of them that he couldn't help. Yeah, because I I can't really remember why, but I just know that you know he, he can't help everyone. Yeah, true. Yeah, hmm. and I think he told me something like that as well that you know it's gonna be in them forever. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, for this old guy, he mentioned about this uh this eldest brother lah. Mm-hmm. Say that not everyone seek for help. Yeah. Not everyone seek for help. Like for for his mother, right? It's different case. The she's she's been possessed due to an ill, uh, uh, ill ill feel ill feeling towards her. Okay. Right. And people has a uh, envy towards her, so they send some black magics. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Uh, um, I've had a conversation with this. Okay, for the Roman Catholics. Yeah. There is a dedicated team. Okay. Uh, that goes to to um, to see these cases, you know. Yeah. Like if you call them and you say that you have a loved one that's possessed, before the priest gets to them, mm. there's a team that that will go down and, and do an interview, and oh. you know. So there's psychologists, there are doctors, there, mm. there. You know, they each of them have got their, their specialties. Sp- uh. Yeah, correct. Mm. And one of the the criteria for the church to help, mm. yeah. Uh, Is that the victim, right? The person is possessed. Mm. They have to ask for help. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So then I was like, "Oh, how does that work?" And then he they explained this to me where, mm. if a person's possessed by a demonic entity, that there, there's still their their soul that they have, right? Yeah. Because all of us have got souls. Mm. Um, there's that little bit in us that will still be able to fight and say, "I need help." Oh, yeah. that means that soul of his or her. Is trying to reach out lah mm. to whoever is hearing. Yeah, so they need ah, to hear this okay, from okay. from a person that mm. they need help, and then 
and then it goes to the next stage. Yeah, I just yeah. thought I would share that. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, the stories that you used to share with me, I so I I can't share it now because yeah. I I've not asked them for permission. But mm. it it was like stuff that you see in the movies. Mm. Yeah, and then the the even like the green vomit and you know uh, wow, they, they say that real, it does man. exist. Yeah, wow, that's real. Man. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so man, yeah, people need to ask for help. I for, guess for me. Um, Witnessing all this kind of uh, uh, process where people cleanse uh, and do their rituals to cleanse all these possessed uh, uh, personnel, right? It's not an easy, not it's not easy, it's not an easy process to actually witness. Also, mm. for me, who who's just not doing anything and just there standing and witnessing, right? Is I, I'm I'm witnessing with a heavy heart. Yeah, with a heavy heart, bro. Uh, because I feel first, I feel for the person who has been possessed. Yeah. Second, I can feel the energy of the very old guy, the Habib. Mm-hmm. He's 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 actually uh, using all his energy to actually try to cleanse this 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 lady. Yeah. Right. That means he's very sincere in helping actually. Yeah. And it's I mean it's it's not an easy process for me to witness also. Of course, of yeah. course, yeah. You know, I I I've been lucky, but I also know that because I'm I'm good at what I do. Yeah. That for the last what twelve thirteen years, mm. nobody like in my team, right? And we've had so many people come on. Yeah. Whether they're guests, whether it's production crew, and all, nobody has been possessed. Wow. So I'm I'm I I I take a lot of pride in that. You know that. Mm. Um, when I go out and and we shoot something. Mm. Um, it's always a, a safe environment. Like you know, nobody needs to come and. And and be afraid, but we had one guy. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this video is still on YouTube. Yeah, we visited a uh, cemetery mm. in in Siglap. Okay, right, and then he he pretended to be possessed. Pretend, yeah, like the Ooh, spirit in him know. and all. And then <laughs> people saw right through that. Uh, and then yeah, they just flamed him. Even till today, people are leaving like <laughs> nasty comments. You know, uh, yeah. Okay, F- first of all, first of all, those who are viewing and yeah. also listening, right. Uh, please do not pretend to be possessed. Yeah, because bad no things, joke. Yeah, no can joke. happen this after is, that. This is if if you are paid to act in a movie, yeah. please do so. Yeah, that is your role. But on real life, please do not ever ever fake of being possessed. Yeah. Okay, it's something not to make to be to be make fun of, right? It's something not to actually uh, try to uh, treat it as like kind of prank or laughter. Even you want to prank someone, you you, you can ha- you can think of an- other ideas to prank him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't don't ever prank me of being possessed, Noel. Okay. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know I don't do yeah. stuff like this. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um. Okay. I just want to talk real quick about okay, okay, about yeah. this. Um. So, I was at Hopa Villa mm. like last year. So, mm. um, it was you know it was at night. Mm. Uh, it's not open to the public yet, but you know we're we're doing this media cop shoot. Ah. For this new show, uh, history mysteries, mm. right? So we did uh, a scene at uh, the back of Hopa Villa where we have a Pontianak, like oh. she's just standing there, and then there's a lot of smoke, you know, because the, a, a fake Pontianak or a real Pontianak? Uh, it's an actress, actress again. Okay. Yeah, but it was just uh, it's just it one of those uh, B rolls, mm. you know, mm. just to 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 fill the 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 app, right? Because mm. we speak about a female ghost, right? Mm-mm. And then, so we 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 did the shoot, um, and while while they were doing it, right, yeah. I could feel that the energy just changed, just like that. Oh, yeah, it was man. the exact location where they would people have claimed to see. What is um, a female ghost? And then when wow. they started the shoot, mm. I could feel that a hey, a lot of these things are have come to to watch us. Do you feel shivers? No, I just felt very uneasy. Okay. Yeah, like okay. you know mm. that kind of feeling. You don't want to be there, mm. uh, because something is going to happen. <sighs> yeah, wow. and then after that, once we cut right, yeah, and then uh, I was getting a lift out, and then the the cameraman, the damn cool uh, yeah, he's one of the veterans in media corp, you know, mm, mm. and then he said to me, "Hey, bro, you you felt that?" No? I said, "Yeah, you know, because wow. yeah, I think to them it's like, oh, you think we look like this." Oh man! Yeah, maybe I'm going to show you how we really look. You know, mm. yeah. And it didn't help that we were 
that they were burning not we not me mm, nah. but the production team you know they were burning a lot of joysticks just for the smoke effect oh man yeah yeah so energy like totally changed i i knew that like something bad could happen mm. yeah but good thing is that the shoot was done very quickly okay yeah and, I, and then we left i have a very quick question yeah right you definitely mean a countless time you will feel this kind of uh, energy on set mm mm-hmm. and you know uh the production that you are involving that, that you are being involved with a very big production media corp mm mm-hmm. man how do you keep your how do you keep your professionalism maintaining what you need to deliver during the shoot and at the same time feeling the energy right switching from positive to to that kind of negative energy in mm-hmm. an instance yeah um for me it's you have to ignore okay because when you feel the energy change right yeah uh if i'm doing a gfs production yeah. i can tell the camera oh i'm feeling this but at that point no you know like with that shoot no you just ignore yeah, because the moment you let it get to you then things escalate and you can perform yeah and you can you can deliver for that shoot yeah right. and you know when i was working with uh, mm2 entertainment for ghost watch yeah they wanted me to do a lot of a uh, reenactment so whenever mm. i talk about something if i talk about like uh, the bukit batu nature reserve yeah right the ghost of linda chua mm. then they want that reenactment of of a ghost like um coming out onto the pathway mm. but i told them no i like for gfs right we will never do reenactments because i feel that when you do a reenactment yeah the the actual ghost that's there is not going to be happy and, and then bad things yeah happen yeah in a way please do not offend all these entities ah eh? of course yeah, yeah. We, we, you want to shoot shoot as uh respectful in a very respectful manner mm-hmm. right at the same time also do not offend in in, in doing all this kind of uh made up pranks ah uh. yeah uh. um and okay so talking about ghost watch yeah. we did a shoot at um mount vernon crematorium okay right so it wasn't planned uh we just got this email from uh a hindu undertaker and then he mm. he told me hey bro you know you're working on the series I yeah. think you should check out the crematorium before. Yeah, it's totally closed, you know. Uh, and it was closed for 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 many many years. Yeah. So I said okay. Uh, got mm. my cameraman. We got this girl, um, um, Ever Lee, to come on as a guest. Mm. And so it was a skeleton crew because usually we have a lot more people. Yeah. But this time it's just one 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 cameraman. It's an impromptu kind of plan. Yeah. Yeah. And so that night itself, we we went down, mm. and then we went around, and you know you can watch it's on on YouTube, right? Mm. Uh, and everything was kind of spooky, like we saw a, a a pigeon, a headless pigeon, but you can tell like it just died. Oh, and man. then we walked, like we explored the the yeah. the, the the grounds of Mount Vernon Crematorium, and mm. then we came upon this one of the the many halls that okay. they have, mm. and then. The door was open. Okay. And I said, okay. So this is where they cremate bodies. Oh man. And my um First my impression. instinct was like, mm. let's go in. But I have to check with with the cameraman Desmond mm. and and the girl Everly. And they say, you know, that they they game for it. So mm. because the door was open, we walked in. Yeah. And then we walked around the corner and all, mm. and then we came upon the chambers where okay. where the coffins enter. Oh man. And already in this place, right? I I I knew that like the vibes not good, you yeah. know. And um, I see orbs, right? Yeah. Like not on on like photographs and videos. I actually see them mm, on in your real life, ah. Uh. Yeah. Mm. So I saw an orb, and then I said that, and then of course you know was on yeah. was caught on camera. Thankfully, you mm. know people think I'm some nut job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so we were talking, talking, talking. Mm. And then after that, you know, it starts getting cold. Wow. And I was like, okay, and then we see all these these um, chambers where where the coffins go in, right? Mm, yeah. And then I decided to open. I decided to open them, and then I looked in and I saw bones. So oh, it, it it looked okay. like like bones, and I was like, why are there bones here? I mean, the crematorium has been closed for for so long. Small particles, or yeah, yeah. So yeah, like some of them about this size. Okay. And then I. I asked the uh, the cameraman, should okay. I pick up one? All right. Yeah, and then he's like, "Go for it." 
Wow. You know, I was like, shit. Serious, ah? Uh? Okay. Um, I'm going to do it, right? So I prepped myself, ready, right? So I yeah. reached in. With your bare hands? Yeah, bare hands. I picked up and I turned to, to the camera and I said some stuff which which angered um, a, a local government agency, by the way. So oh, F them. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and I'll talk. Yeah. I'll talk about it in a while. So yeah. yeah so I, I said some stuff to the camera. Yeah. But the moment I picked up that bone, right, mm. I felt this zap. You know, like like run through chills, me. Uh, like, yeah. Mm. No. It's, so it's not chills. Like an electric shock. Just run through. Ah. Me. Yeah. But it's very quick. Okay. And then I was like, okay, what do I do now? The heart beating very fast. You know. Oh man. And usually when I work on my show, right, I'm very calm. Yeah. You know. And then we heard footsteps. We that means all all of yeah all of us yeah, yeah okay I and see. then the cameraman backs up and then the cameraman goes behind me Man. and I was like okay <sighs> then we heard uh whistling somebody whistle in that hall there's and, only one way in and that hall is echo by the way eh? yeah yeah wow. Chills, so, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my god. And then after that, I say, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put this bone back. Yeah. Okay, yeah. done. Shoot, done. Mm. Uh, came home, looked through the the a bit of evidence. I say, no, I'm gonna sleep. Mm. And then that night itself, I I had a a nightmare. Okay, I I hardly dream. I hardly get nightmares. Yeah. But that night itself, I I had this nightmare where I felt somebody standing by my bed. Oh man. Yeah. And then I woke up. Uh, And then I had cold sweat and all. And then, so this nightmare carried on. Yeah. <coughs> and then the um, the app went up uh, on online. I mm. I think about two weeks later. So for for these two weeks, I kept having this this nightmare. freaking nightmare. Mm. But this one time, so I was staying at my mom's place. Mm-hmm. This one time, I woke up. Yeah. And I saw. Wow. This old man standing by the foot of my bed. Oh my god. Yeah, and, and he he looked like really angry. Oh, and at at that time, within this time span, a police report was made against me. For what? Because okay, so we, um, the the app went viral, mm-hmm. right? It was oh. on Storm. It was on um, on like Mothership and all, right? Mm-mm. And a certain government agency, yeah, uh, they weren't happy. Exactly. That we we went in and then we found these bones. Oh yeah, that I called them out. So okay. a police report was made. I had to go down to the police station so many times, right? And they accused us for of uh, trespassing. trespassing. Yeah. And then I said no, like we didn't trespass. Mm. Right, the door was open and blah blah blah. They said no, the door was locked. Mm. And good thing we had we had evidence. Yeah. Right, our video, our video footage like, that showed when we came round the corner. Yeah. That the door was open. Yeah. Yeah, and then right. the IO said, oh. Okay, then you know we use this, and then they called me back like a week later. Oh, yeah. you know there's a no trespassing sign. I said, where's the sign? Then they showed me a photo. A very small sign. No, like. no, no. But the sign was just put up. Okay. That you can tell is brand new. Like the concrete, everything is brand new. The sign is new. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay, yeah. So I'm fighting a, a losing battle, right? Okay, but but when you are being called up for an investigation, only you or the whole team? The whole team. Everybody the whole that team. was there. Everybody, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, I I so I asked the the investigation officer, right, the mm. investigating officer. Yeah. Um, like, are you guys going to do anything about the bones? Because mm. it's people's remains, right? True. And so while this app of this episode of ours was going viral, mm. I was getting a lot of prank calls as well, from from private numbers. I see. From from undertakers who were very angry. Yeah. Casket companies, right? They're very angry mm-hmm. that we went in and we did this because it shows that maybe they are not doing their job. Ah, uh, maybe eh? Yeah, and that because the place is haunted, people may not want to have their 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 funerals, their wakes, there as well. I see. Okay. Yeah, so it was it was kind of rough. Uh, I remember being very disappointed at the end of this because um, there's just a lot of stuff that that was made up along the way just so we would get into trouble. Yeah, and my. One of my goals, right, always, yeah. when when I came up with Ghost Files Singapore, mm. was to put Singapore on the map, right. So mm. viewers that are watching from elsewhere might decide to come to Singapore because we are known as one of the most haunted locations in the world. True, right. Yeah. And and yeah, I was just very very disappointed with the the kind of support that I was getting from mm. 
the government, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I kind of lost heart with with that fight. Yeah, mm. yeah, but yeah. So this nightmare continued, and then one yeah. day this old man just stopped. So maybe they they actually cleared the the bone fragments. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm. Wow. So this old man, do you manage to talk to him? No, he he just refused to talk. I remember in the dreams I would try to speak to him. Yeah. But I just never got a a, a reply. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes this kind of entities, right? When mm-hmm. they come into the in their physical form, they sometimes they they, they don't want to talk to you. Mm. They just want to show their presence. Yeah. And by showing their presence, right? In a way, it reflect a certain kind of message they're trying to send out there. Yeah. I think so. I think so too. Mm. And you have to dig deep and understand what kind of message that they are trying to find, uh, trying to send to you. Yeah. Because you are the one who are uh, meddling with that side of mm-hmm. their world. Maybe when you pick up that that fragment bones. Yeah. Right. Maybe, yeah. Something that you want to deliver to you. Only exactly. You can, only you can understand it. Yeah. I, I think a lot of times it's easy. But yeah. I think with this man, this this elderly man yeah. it was just difficult mm. to get answers from him I Directly, think yeah. mm. he showed up maybe wanting me to remove his bone fragments but then there was no way I could do it right? because I was under bloody police investigation <laughs> yeah so the remains are still there lah. I don't know oh. but let's stop talking about this before yeah. we'll make another police report <laughs> man okay, 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 okay. Say, screw them <laughs> <laughs> but wow what an experience man yeah it's wow Man, is is that the most scariest thing that ever happened throughout your whole um, career? Man, I believe that that there are more. Yeah, there, there are more, but usually it just happens at home, and you know, mm. uh, we try to to, or I try to negate it away, lah. Find logical reasons for for these disturbances, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, then we try to negotiate. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm. Um. Yeah, but you know, those of you at home, if you think that your house is haunted, you, know, you can always buy mm. um, a paranormal gadget like a K2 meter or you can buy a ghost meter. You know, you can yeah. find it now on, on stores like Shopee or AliExpress. I think it's important for them to keep also one at home. <laughs> yeah, but then, you know, when you use a gadget yeah. like this, you have to be very careful because once you establish you have got an entity at home, mm. then... They know that you know that they are there. Then things can escalate. Wow. Yeah, but then if you use a gadget like this, like mm. you know, Mm-mm. around like your house, the kitchen will have the most, like the highest EMF uh, levels because, uh, like your refrigerator, is, you know, for example, yes. EMF levels really high, and um, other kitchen try gadgets, to avoid yeah, la. try to avoid, yeah, like mm. a micro wave, you know, like yeah. <laughs> What a way to pronounce it. Microwave lah, brother. <laughs> We are Singaporean, okay? Just pronounce properly, yeah. can or not? <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. While Noel is laughing his hearts out, we have oh, tons and tons <laughs> of uh, comments oh, from our <laughs> from our viewers, okay? Our, our diehard and most supporting uh, live viewers here. Yeah. Okay. We have a comment from uh, Julian Edison. Uh-huh. Right? Uh, wait. Where's the comment? <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, okay. Okay, Julian Edison. My experience, I heard a ghost, a ghost hum in the middle of the night and it touches me. Ghost uh, hum. Ghost hum is what? Uh? Um, oh, humming. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. You hum cheap and you. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, it, it, it can be. Right. Yeah. Ghosts come and uh, ha- uh, haunt you with their eerie sounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True, bro. Yeah. Um. Anything to scare a person. Hmm. Okay. Julian, this is an add-on. This is this is quite a very lengthy comment. Whenever I go to Bangkok, I will always tell the tour agency last time, like 10 or 15 years ago, when online hotel booking still not available, to avoid issue hotel. Okay. Hmm. I hope that is not a company, ah. Huh? Okay, my Xbox, my Xbox, who is a Christian, once stayed there on business, saw a lady spirit through the mirror sitting on the bed when he was blowing his hair dry. He turned around, and there's nobody. 
he locked into the mirror and she is still sitting there seventh floor of the hotel wow 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 thank you julian edison lim for sharing this uh experience yeah yeah wow um do you guys have any questions you know you can ask yeah uh, we are able to uh, answer a few questions here yeah Because mm. we have overshot by half an hour, man. Man, it's it's a holiday special, bro. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying because you pointed to the clock just now. No, I pointed to the wall. Why would you point <laughs> to the wall? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah. So just reminding you, lah, man. Uh, time is an essence, ah. Huh? <laughs> okay, no. Yes. Okay, but uh, we have a few. We have a few uh, question here by Ramona Sidik. We have a question by Ramona Sidik. So, what happened to the spirit of the old man by your bed? Um, mm. he just disappeared. Like he just, just stopped, like that. Stopped visiting mm. after a while. Ah. Yeah, I'm thankful though. I think maybe he's found peace. I hope, or his remains were uh, finally removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they need they they need that kind of peace. Ah, uh. mm. right. They need to. Stay. I mean, lost souls. They are also searching for peace. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they're not found the light. You mm-hmm. know. So, okay, we have comment by Hisham Atnan. Noel Boyd, please bring Indra Sahib along with you in your next in your next ghost hunt. Perhaps can go live. That will be fun. Mm. <laughs> first of all, first of all, if Noel will go on site hunting, right? Uh, I'll be at home sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think your wife will be very happy with me. Yeah. Uh, no, I. I. I mean, my wife would not have any thing against me going out for ghost hunt. But right. it's just that it's late at night, bro. I need to sleep, lah. <laughs> <laughs> I prioritize my sleep more. <laughs> people, okay. p- people will not go go hunting during the day, right? If during the day you can, lah, you invite me, lah. I will come. Actually, you can. Really, yeah. Yeah, I. Yeah, I think you, you know think? you can. They are around what twenty four seven. It's not like like they only appear. I thought like most people go hunt at night. No, but you can do it in the day as well. Oh, really? Yeah, you can. Ah, really but it's know. just that it looks better, like with for production. The, the production, yeah, yeah, it looks better. Yeah, at night with like the 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 LED, infrared, uh, infrared. And, yeah. Yes, correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, just now we have an, a, a question. Okay, Daniel Ali. Okay. Yeah. Hey Noel, did you have any very scary encounters before, and what was your experience on that? I think you you shared your you shared your partner. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. It, there's once in Miri. Right. Miri is in Sarawak. Oh, Sarawak. Okay. Yeah. So wow. I was in the guest house. Uh, and I was all by myself, and it's like my first night in this guest house. Mm. And just when I closed my eyes to sleep, right, I started hearing people talking mm. in the in the bedroom. I see. And I was like, what? the hell's going on I thought like maybe people broke in to the house right okay. so uh-huh. I turned on the 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 TV the lamp oh yeah there's no TV in the room wow so I turned on the the, the bedside lamp okay and then everything stopped mm. and then I I went around the house to check it's a very old house by the way mm. and then you know you can feel that something just changed I don't know why okay. like the moment I decide to sleep the atmosphere changes okay I said okay never mind Went back to the room, mm-hmm. uh, and I said out loud, "You know, mm. I'm really, really tired. I just want to sleep. Yeah. So just leave me alone." And then I turn off the light. And like one or two seconds later, I can hear people talking. Oh, but but this time it's like even more, and it's like it's loud, louder, you know? louder. So it's like in in the bedroom. Wow. Yeah. And then I turn on the light again. Everything stops. Then I was like, "Okay, you can't be sleeping with lights on, right?" Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't like to. Yeah, correct. And then uh, I was very annoyed, so I, I was very vulgar, you know. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I almost said it. Hold your anger, hold your anger, bro. <laughs> and then okay, I said that uh, this last chance. Okay. And then I turned off the lights. Yeah. And then it started immediately this time. Hmm. And it sounded like there was even more people, but when I wanted to turn the the bedside lamp on again, right? Yeah. It didn't turn on. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Why the light bulb blew? Ah? I don't know. No, but later on in in the morning when I tried to turn it on, yeah. everything was fine. Okay. But I think just at that point they say, you know what? You're so angry, right? Yeah. Uh, and you gave us one last warning. What are you gonna do now? 
So they purposely let the light. Yeah. Wow. So I cannot see anything. The room is pitch darkness. I'm trying to look around the room for for my but, phone. But do you do you still hear the voice? Yeah. Still. Wow. Yeah, and then there were like there were giggles, and I'm looking around for my phone because there wasn't a PowerPoint next to the bed. Yeah. So it's on the other side of the room. Yeah. Right where I plugged in my 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 phone charger, and then I'm mm-hmm. like trying to look around for it, and yeah, heart beating really fast. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so there are things that that really scare me, especially mm. when I cannot see. So if it's like pitch darkness, right? Yeah, then I can't see. Then I can hear, or I can feel being myself being touched. Yeah, that that mm. that scares me. Wow. Yeah, I I mean just being honest, man. This kind of thing when they are around you, right? Man, you can sense that they are very close. Mm-hmm. You can really sense, you know. Yeah. No, especially when when they are try they, they are playing tricks, right? Mm. They're trying to like bait, uh, uh yeah, give you some bait, you know. Yeah, it's that, a test. Yeah. It's a test, yeah. Because they, they right? want to they want to see what you're made of, and what you would how you you would react. Yeah, and that, and yeah. I, I always tell people this, right? Mm. Like, if something happens to you, then you got to take control of the situation, got to show that you're brave and all. Yeah. But at that point, right in that room, I I failed. Because with that circumstances, yeah, right? yeah, I know it's very, it's very my hard, phone man. And all, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so there you go, Daniel Ali. Yeah. I live and learn. <laughs> live and learn. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a, a question by Chris Ho. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you encounter more red ops or more friendly ops? I think I've been blessed with uh more blue ops, more more friendly ops. Um, the bad ones not so much. Okay. Only at, at certain areas, mm. yeah. Because you you mentioned that when you went out, uh, you went to the Mount Vernon crematorium, crematorium right? Mm. You saw an op. Yeah. So what kind of op there? Um, let me think back. Mm. I think it was more like a light grey. Yeah, it was mm. definitely light grey. Mm. Yeah, but it wasn't evil. That there's no yeah, way yeah. it was evil. Yeah. Because if it's evil, you'll be red. Yeah, mm. red or orange. Yeah, I see. Okay, an- another request here from uh, Kelvin Ong. Mm-hmm. Okay, please bring me when you guys go OCH. Wow. Yeah, but OCH is so tough to go, man, because of all the the cameras and. Mm. Yeah, but you know, for many years I've been trying to get permission. Yeah. To do something at OCH. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last. That I checked it was under SLA if I'm not wrong, and then they're asking for quite a lot of money, mm. like to book the place for a night. But you know, maybe for Halloween one day, I might see. do something there. Wow, that's yeah. meant for haunted hour. Yeah, like <laughs> part of the haunted hour brand. You know, we can do like this. It, it, it'd be cool if we can do a podcast on site. Yeah, and then do like a, a tour as well, like a, a Halloween tour. But wow. yeah, just no no ghost actors and all. Yeah, because I, I don't work like that. Yeah, true, yeah. true, true. We we will try to keep it real, guys. Yeah, yeah. Because I I I believe you viewers deserve the the best content, right? Yeah, for for, for you all to understand what we are doing. Yeah, I mm. I think one day will it will be interesting if I can bring in one of the uh, scare actors. Ah. Right, they either worked uh, spectacular or the one at USS because mm. these actors, right, have claimed to like when they dress up as a ghost, yeah, and they're walking around, they they get disturbed by real ghosts. Wow! So they're trying to scare the the guests and visitors, right? Yeah. But then they, they cannot scare. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, cannot they get scratched scared. and, and wow. stuff like that. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, I uh, let me work on that. Sure. Okay, we have a question by Lina C. What is The deepest impression of you guys smelling something fragrant, uh, uh, fragrance, mm. or, nest, or nasty all of a sudden in the air. This uh, beautiful lady Lina, yeah. mm. she bought us coffees earlier. Thank Remember? you, Lina C. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Um, I get very excited if I smell, smell something sweet. Yeah, especially when we are on location, right? Mm. And then. When you suddenly get that, and then yeah. you try looking for the sauce, yeah, whether there's a French penny tree nearby, mm-hmm. or you know, um, any other thing that any that, flower yeah. kind of smell lah, mm. yeah. Uh, uh, flower does produce kind of smell. Yeah, but they don't grow here, right? I, I mean, ah. not in the places that you will go to. What I see, I like, see, like Bukit Brown or or mm. 
the suicide tower at Pasir Ways, you wouldn't have that. I see. But yeah, suddenly yeah. when you get this whiff, mm. and I find it very interesting when nobody else smell it, only you can smell it, yeah. yeah. Well, then I get so excited. I'm like a small boy, Toys R Us. Yeah, like, oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I, I just want to uh, make you have this visual. Okay, imagine like me and you right now, mm. okay, in this very studio. Right. Only the two of us. With clothes on or without? Close eyes. Okay? okay. With close eyes. Only the two of us in this very studio. Mm. Suddenly, this smell come up. And it's a smell like kind of like very not say fragrant smell. A smell of a fart. <laughs> okay. How you how would you react, man? I will I will attack I will attack you. That's the first thing. I will just make sure that you're not possessed. So I will probably hit you about about eighty times. By the way, we 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 are only uh two. There's there's only two of us here in the studio. Yeah. So if if we start to smell something not right here, we know it's you. Either me or no. <laughs> I thought it was something serious, man. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to create a scene here. Okay. Uh, we have a uh, a lot more of comments here. By our lovely guest, a lovely uh, viewers, mm-hmm. uh, Julian Edison Lim mentioned. I hear many ghost stories from East Malaysia. East Malaysia means Sabah, Sarawak, mm-hmm. right? You mentioned just now. Mm. Yeah, wow. um, I think a lot of magic, mm-hmm. right? Magic yeah. is is practiced there. I see. Yeah. Mm, true. Okay, we have one more here by Steph Sim. Noel, Yo. you mentioned you dream of nightmares. Continue. Did you do you went to pray? Mm. Um, no, mm. I don't. Um, the reason why I believe that these nightmares are uh, it's part of my work. I see. So I'm always hoping that the nightmares continue, and it mm. gives me like answers because I. All the the places I've been to before, yeah. right? Mm. I've got files for each one. I see. So if I have a nightmare, I I put that in. So it's like journal, bro. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so it's got photos. It's it's got like every small thing that I I sense, everything I see, you... I feel, everything goes in there. Mm. And I feel that nightmares help me piece together stuff that I I've missed out. I or, see. Or a certain entity that needs help. Yeah. You know. Correct. If it's within my means, then you know. I will. Um, yeah, like I would. I I remember going a lot to to different temples, you know. So I've been to the Thai Thai Buddhist temple. I've Mm-mm. been to the Hindu temples. I've been to to see uh, people from um, the Christian church. Mm-mm. If I know that, okay, I think this entity is of this faith. Yeah, maybe these these people can help me. Mm. Yeah. So I I feel that's the least I can do. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we have a question by Christopher. Mm-hmm. What is the difference between a kuntilana and a pontiana? They're basically the same, except that uh, Indonesians don't call it pontiana, right? It's only Malaysia and Singapore, Singapore. that calls it uh, pontiana. Oh, it's the same. It's the same term, lah. Yeah, I mean, it's the same figure. I see. Yeah, it's it's uh, uh, it's still a female figure, lah. Yeah, it's still a female entity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's my my. Your take on that, lah. Yeah, my take on that. Mm. I, I could be wrong, though. I see. Kuntilana, Kuntilana. Yeah, mm. it's not coming to me now. But I did feature it for for this game called Dread Out. So we did feature the Kuntilana. Mm. But I can't really recall now. Both surely have long hair. Yeah, both have long hair. Both surely with white gowns or yeah, white uh, like long, dress. Uh, long yeah, very big. Yeah, yeah, correct. Mm. Um, Mm-hmm, pretty and then they can become really ugly as well both with eerie kind of uh, voice laughter, laughter yeah, yeah, voice, correct. yeah. Mm. wow okay okay we have a we have a comment here from Melanie Th- Melanie Theo yeah hey, she's from from Kuala Lumpur wow from Malaysia Malaysia shout can't out can't remember which part yeah shout out to Kuala Lumpur yeah man yeah. okay uh, there are many stories around about one who is unable to move while sleeping Us mm. Chinese will call it direct translation, like uh, entity is sitting on top of us, causing yeah. us not being able to move an inch or a single muscle. And when the person tries to call out for help, he or she is not able to utter a single word. Some mm-hmm. call it sleep paralysis. Yeah. What's your take on this? Um. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. Definitely. 
I I mean I've heard from uh, so many people, right? Yeah. They had this where they're sleeping on their back, mm-mm, mm-mm. and then they feel that they can't move, mm-mm. and then they can't even even shout for help. Wow. Yeah, and then um, scientists would say that you know it's just your muscle you, reacting. Yeah, uh. mm. your muscle reacting, but. I don't know. I, I feel that there's some truth to it. I, I don't know. I had that happen to me once. Mm. Then I thought it was that because mm. I, I, I couldn't move. I couldn't shout. Yeah. Then I found out I had a minor stroke. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So don't laugh. It, it's, it's, no, no, no. It's serious. Yeah, yeah it's serious. Yeah, bro. I, I had, yeah. A, had a minor stroke. And then I was like, hmm. Mm. Yeah. So I, I don't know, man. Mm. Like, I, I've had people also tell me that, you know, when this happened to them, yeah. they, they've, Seen this entity above them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I and I, I can just imagine Mm-mm. that it'd be so freaky for them because they see this horrible-looking um, mm. um, uh, spirit, ghost um, entities. Uh. Mm. Yeah, above them, and mm. then they can't even do anything. They can't scream for help. They can't move. They can't run. Yeah, yeah. True. Uh, I, I believe this is uh, this is true though. Uh, my cousin. My uh, one of my elder cousin, uh, he ever encountered this before. Okay. Uh, and this happened when that time when he sleep over at my house. Mm. Mm, when we are still young time, right? Yeah. So he he wake he wake my late grandma up in the middle of the night because of this. Mm. Yeah. And you know lah, old people they they know how to deal with this kind of entities. Yeah. Yeah. So that time I still remember, and it happened to him because okay. he feel like his chest being pressed down, and he's try to shout for help, and his his body can't really move. Right. He feel like as if like he yeah like as like as if like he's paralyzed, but mm. actually he 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 can move, but he want to shout for help, but he he's unable to. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I totally get that. Mm. The same way like how just now he's been described. Yeah. Mm. Um, Melanie, because you're you're in KL, right? You should totally go to the Highland Towers before wow. they they demolish it, uh, mm. because I think I read that they're going to demolish and then build something over it, like a park or something. I see. Yeah, mm. so it's one of the most haunted places while, I know. While in KL. yeah, why it's still there? Yeah, I've been there once. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay, we have a comment by our lovely brother here, Azrin Shah. Ooh, Azrin. Yo, what's up, brother Azrin? Okay, I know that Noel is going to hammer you, Indra. <laughs> Regarding back to the fart thing. Lah. Yeah, it's going to happen sooner or later. I I know it's going to be sooner. I think after after we go off air, the first thing he's going to hammer is, is my face. Lah. <laughs> no. Lah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, lah. Noel, Noel very soft. Lah. Noel is a very very gentle person. I am. He, he will not... He will not dare to actually... Uh, Touch me or like pinch me, okay? Because he loved me to death. That 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 is that's something that I will uh, that that I can uh, barely share to all our viewers. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this guy too much. <laughs> that's why I told you from the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, bro. Like you keep saying I'm the boss, but I uh, I told you that we are equal. I see you yeah. as my equal, and wow. that's the only way I can work with you. Yeah, man. Yeah, and and I and and I'm very appreciative of that. Yeah, man, I'm very thankful with this experience that we and we are on our 10 episode, guys. Yeah, 10 apps. 10 live. episode, guys. All right. Okay, uh, okay, a few more. A few more. A few okay, more. from Christopher uh, Redfield. Okay, uh, entities or ghosts afraid of other entities, and which is higher or scarier than them. Example: Will a Pontianak be scared of a demon? Uh, yeah, mm. but a Pontianak is a demonic entity, right? Oh, okay. yeah. Um. You know, one of my favorite movies of all time mm. is Ghost, uh, Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze, right? Okay. And and that's how I think I started um, becoming interested in in the paranormal, Mm-mm. right? It's so they they show like this this entity that stays in the um, uh, railway station, right? Yeah. So mm. it's underground. I I think so. A- anyway, so mm. so this entity. You know, it's his place. It's his house. Mm. He doesn't let others enter. Yeah, mm. other entities enter. Yeah. So I kind of, in in my head, right? What what I vision is that that's true, right? If you have an abandoned building, 
you won't have like a thousand entities unless yeah. they all died mm. there. Mm. Like Istana would know, you know, like not mm. thousands, but by hundreds. Multiples. Yeah. Died mm. there during the war. Um, yeah, if it's a abandoned building and then an entity goes in and then, okay, that's going to be his room. I, mm. I cannot envision them um, just being okay with each other. I see. Yeah. I think there's a... a I just can't. A, a territory uh, kind of a hierarchy. Yeah, because yeah. if... if we humans go in and then they disturb us and they want us out of their place, One then more. why wouldn't they do it to their own kind? Yeah, true. Yeah. It's much more easier that way. Yeah. yeah. True, true. Okay, we have one last comment that we want to uh, shout out here. Yeah. From Melanie again. Right? Uh, laughing out loud, I did went once to Highland Towers. Yay. Reach the entrance. Most of my friends who were with me chicken out. Why? Um, why? Why you chicken out, Melanie? Okay. Um, <laughs> The first time I ever yeah. went to this place, right? Okay, yeah. So, it was a condominium mm-hmm. and then there was a landslide and then the building collapsed. One of the, oh, that, the, the towers collapsed. That is the history. Yeah. Mm. And then I remember watching it live when, when I was a kid. It was on uh, RTM or... Yeah, in the news. Lah. Yeah. In the news. Or, or is it and TV they, anyway? And they searched for uh, bodies. Lah. Yeah. So, then there's this other block which... Because they got everybody to move out. It's not safe, right? Mm. So, I remember... I think I was in Kuala Lumpur maybe six, seven years ago. Mm. Uh, somebody said that, you know, you should, you should go check it out. We don't have to go in, yeah. but we just drive and then, you know, we um, I get to see it at wow. night. I said, oh my God, it's so awesome, right? So we get there and I remember we were standing outside the car, we were smoking. Yeah. And then at the entrance to this building, I saw a, a figure appear. Ooh. Yeah. So I thought like it's one of the, the, the druggies in there, you know, because that place was was known to... For, uh, for all these hippies. Yeah, people yeah. go there to, to hit up, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it starts walking towards us. Then I, I see that the appearance is is a bit strange. Okay. So what I saw was... um, I mean, this thing is standing upright. Mm. And then it's got horns. Horns? Yeah. Wow. And then I heard footsteps, right? But the footsteps are like hooves, you know? Like, like a horse? Uh? Yeah. Like, like, like galloping at it? Yeah, like, yeah, like mm. that. Hmm. I saw red eyes. Red yeah, but eyes. I, I, I felt fear, like really legit fear. Wow, red eyes. Yeah. Wow. That immediately we should leave. So I told this friend of mine, uh, hey, we got to go, man. Let's, let's go right Yeah, now. but this yeah. person was freaking out because he saw whatever I saw. This, oh. Yeah. So it was it was a demonic entity, like for sure. But oh. it's the first and last time I, I seen something like that. Okay. In okay. in that, that form, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. I can I can still remember that day. So no wonder, no wonder Melanie Theo and uh, her friends uh, decided not to enter. Yeah, I mean, if you don't feel a good vibe before entering, so I I, I think do not do not enter. Yeah, you must always trust your your gut instinct. Yeah, correct, correct. If you are brave enough and you have a good positive vibe mm-hmm. on like experiencing the entities itself, right? Yeah, then go for it. Yeah, but if you don't. Uh, it's not about chicken out lah. It's, I think more of safe safeguarding yourself. Yeah, yeah, rather yeah. than chicken out. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Melanie, for 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 your share for for your sharing and your stories. Yeah. If you guys mm. don't know what uh the the Highland Towers is, I mean, go on YouTube. You can you can search for it. Yep. There's this really cool guy that uh flew his drone, mm. right? And then so he actually goes into the, the building, uh, and he flies around. So you get to see exactly what you would see if you were to enter it in the daytime. Mm. Yeah, I think it's done something at night as well. Wow. But yeah, I, I've watched that, that video a few times. Really awesome work. Yeah. Nice. Wow, we, we have a very uh, good uh, fast uh, Chinese New Year episode. Yeah, we, wow. we don't air for three hours, right? 9.30, yeah. 10.30? Yeah, no, we, we, two we, hours. Yeah, I mean, two hours. Lah. Yeah. So, man, this is for you guys. Yeah, man. For you guys. Definitely for our, you guys. Ghost Files Singapore fans. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for uh, tuning in and still tuning in till the end of our <laughs> app podcast. <laughs> tuning, tuning. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, because, no. because some some of them, they, they, they might tune in in the very beginning. Yeah. And things might distract them and okay, they, they, they go off. They go, they go off live. Right? Yeah. But I believe most of them who are with us they are with us, right? From the beginning of our podcast till the end. Kudos to you guys, man. Yeah, kudos to you. <laughs> yeah, so we got a long weekend, right? Yeah. Um, 
no matter where you are in the world, mm. um, no, actually you may not have a public holiday, but whatever, mm. Mm. You, we still have the weekend upon us, right? Yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, if you guys are going out drinking, please do not drive. Uh, please be responsible. Mm. And if you're going out to gamble because it's Chinese New Year, I hope you win a lot of money. <laughs> Then you can buy us a coffee next week. <laughs> Talking about coffee, right? Okay, if you guys really uh, love our episode, Right, for two, our content our content and what we are putting up here please do show your appreciation by buy, buying us coffee at www.buymeacoffee.com slash GFS TV yeah thank you for that Indra yeah okay so we will see you next week Um, I don't know who's going to be the guest but we're going to find someone yeah. if you know or someone that wants to come on our show please please let us know reach mm. out to us directly send us a message on on facebook Mm-mm. instagram whatever you are available or, or if you want to be on our show tell us why as well what's your backstory mm. and then we might have you here yeah you don't worry me and noel will take care of you <laughs> actually it's it's all me but yeah <laughs> I'm I'm just here to uh, create uh, the humor lah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he thinks. <laughs> all right, man, guys. Hey, thank you so much, man, for viewing. Thank you for uh, all the lovely coffees. Yeah, yeah. Thank we, you. We mm. I I really appreciate it. I know Indra does as well. Mm. Uh, it really goes a long way. Yeah. Um, you know, being here on air every week, mm. it, it's 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 a joy and it's something I look forward to. Yeah, like I said. Beautiful journey. Yeah, beautiful mm. journey indeed, man. Mm. And uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shall we go offline so I can finally have dinner? Yeah, man. It's eleven thirty. I'm All so right. hungry. So thank you again. <laughs> so signing off, right from uh, Haunted Hour. I'm Indra Sahib, and I'm Noel Boyd. Thank Wishing you. you once again, Konti Fatai. May the year the ox bring you a lot of happiness, peace, good health, yeah, joy. Money, many more, and everything else that that you want. Okay. Yeah, and for those who are still seeking to see their loved ones, hopefully one day, right? Yeah, it will come soon enough. It will come soon enough. You yeah. will manage to uh, be grouped with them again. Yeah. Okay. Till then. Good night. Bye bye. Bye.